Hey everybody, it's Sarah with athriftymom.com and I have my boys with me and we're going to do a fun um, project. We're actually going to do two of them, so hopefully you guys can stick around and watch both of them. The first one we're going to do, uh, we call it like the magical milk or it's just a fun experiment to do with your kids with milk and food coloring and soap. So you should have most of the supplies that you need at home. You just need a plate. Uh, we just use, uh, we're just going to use a styrofoam plate today. You need some type of dish soap. We're going to use palm olive. And you need food coloring. Any brand will do. Uh, the normal brand would be uh, McCormick, but we're just going to use Winco. Uh, most any food, uh, most any grocery store you go to should have a generic. Sometimes you can even find it at the dollar store. And we're going to need some Q tips. And some milk. Oh, yep, and some milk. <laughs> and hopefully we won't have too much spilt milk today with my boys helping me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Matthew, can you start out by slowly pouring some milk into the middle of our thing? And we want enough just to cover the bottom. Okay, that's enough. So we probably have, put just a tiny bit more in there. So we probably have... Can I put the dyes? Yep, okay, so put just a little bit more in there. Did you put it in? Yeah. Okay. Um... So now we want to make sure that it's not moving. Okay, so now I'm going to eat, hand each of my boys. Can I give you color? Yep, so I'm going to give each of my boys. Okay, don't argue. Okay, what color do you want? Which one's red? I want red and green. Okay, so we're going to start out by having the boys put a little bit of color in each um, drop. And we're going to try to have the, the drop separated. So just put like one drop. Okay, that's good. Okay, now do another one. Oh, no, do another one like over here. Nope, not on the same spot. It's almost out. Yeah. Okay, so kind of do polka dots all over. Wait. Bonnie says, hello from Pennsylvania. I did this in chemistry as my junior year in high school. <laughs> well, I'm doing it with my uh, little boys today, so I guess we're doing a chemistry project. Okay. Try to do, okay, now do maybe a green one over here. Just yeah. one spot. Thanks, Bonnie. I'm glad you're joining us. Looks like we have about 170 people on right now. Feel free to let us know where the rest of you are watching from. This is a fun project to do with, like, uh, in a... Okay, that's enough. Okay. All right. So my boys have polka-dotted the milk. Okay. And then so what we're going to do now okay. is... We're going to take our palm olive. Jada says, or Jade says, hi from Canada. Hi, thanks for watching from Canada. So now we're going to, and Molly's from Texas. Hi, Molly. Who's Molly? Uh, she's watching. Okay, so now I just poured a little bit of this soap into the bottom of a cup. And we're going to just coat the bottom of our Q-tip. Okay, we'll have you do it first. So then what I'm going to have him do is I'm going to have them just go directly down and don't move it, okay? Just push it straight down. Okay, cool. now don't move it. Here, actually, <laughs> tilt your hand to the side so our readers can see what's happening. No, just wait. Cool. So it makes the milk move, and it makes the colors blend. Um, okay, yeah, just wait. We're going to pull it out and see. Watch what happens. Watch the milk. <laughs> it's almost kind of like a kaleidoscope. Um, it's like a kaleidoscope, and, okay, and you can watch what the soap does as it interacts with, um, as it hits the different colors, and it will just keep bubbling up the new colors. It's really pretty. I'm not sure, can you guys see it good? Is the lighting okay? Oops, as I bump the camera. <laughs> and if you get too many colors in... Ellie, uh, Jennifer says, so cool, Devana, Devana, Devana probably is from Mississippi, <laughs> Ellie is from Grayson in California, and says, oh, amazing, uh, wow, Molly says, yes, Jennifer says, looks great, Bonnie says, in chemistry class, we also test it with 2% whole milk and half and half, and we're supposed to test the differences, Bonnie, tell me what the difference is, we used whole milk, Tell me uh, what the difference was if you used the different, um, so like I said, we Still only going. touched it once, and do you see how it just keeps going? It's Mommy, just, can I do it now? Yeah, in just a second. We're just going to let it go until it stops, okay? Seven-year-old Hudson is watching from Kansas City, Christy says. Hi, Hudson! Hudson, not Hudson. My son, Maverick, is, how old are you, Maverick? Six. 
Right. He's six, and he gets home. He just does half day kindergarten. That's how our district does it. And so a lot of times he comes home. We get his homework done. He gets to watch some. What's your favorite show to watch on TV? Power Rangers, huh? And then, much to his dismay, Mommy makes him get off the TV. And we try to do some type of fun project. Oh, did you see where it goes? <laughs> it's still going. Yep, it's still going. This is really nice. Uh, Kylie says, you're awesome. Brenda says, that's neat. Never seen this done before. Holly says, Cammy from Cincinnati says, Can I, can I do it? That's cool. Okay, wait, let's watch it. And just when you think it's, like, almost done... Then it will starburst another one normally. And then if it totally stops moving, then we'll let the it kids... It stopped! Okay, let's wait. Let's see. Let's give it a few minutes and see if it totally stopped. Jennifer from MI says hi. Okay, so it wait, looks no, like... Don't, don't do anything. It's still going. Because if you look at right here, it's still going. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get... A... So Matthew, you did it the first time. No, I can do it. So we're going to let little brother do it now. <laughs> okay, and why don't we? Okay, this one. Oh wait, look, see, don't. just when you think it's not moving at all, I told there it goes. You don't do it. Here it goes. <laughs> it's alive. <laughs> it's so pretty. Wait, put it right here. It's okay, here, edge. try putting one right here. Let's see what happens. Okay, now we're just gonna put it down. <laughs> Woo! It's taking all that. Yep. Boy, it's smooshing it. Yep. Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna pick it up and let's see if it does it on its own. If it doesn't do it, then we'll have to put it back down. Sometimes it takes a little while to activate it again. No. Okay, put it back in there. Wait. That's hard. Okay, just hold it still. It's doing it. It's doing it. This is also a cool way for your kids. Um, Elizabeth says, "Awesome, I'm gonna have to try this with my kids." Elizabeth's from California. I Thanks for joining it. us. Ape and thaw mug. McGrills? Did I say that right? Or and they McGrills, Marshy Mar <laughs> Marsh. How do you say your girls' names? Mariley, my Mirna, and Miranda said we do this. We're going to do this tonight. Awesome. I'm sorry I started over those names. I've just never seen them spelled like that before. Yeah, I hope you're not. Okay, so then at this point, we're just going to let the boys both put some in. Once it gets too much, um, it, it will stop working after a while, but we're just going to let them keep playing with it. Okay, now we'll just let it bubble. It kind of reminds me, if any of you guys have been to... Um, not the Oregon coast. When you go up to Yellowstone, and they have the mud pots, and they're just bubbling and seeping and coming out from underneath the ground. That's kind of what it reminds me of. It's just, and like I said, this is such a... You can even do this with like milk that the kids have like left out on the counter from breakfast and you don't notice it and then you come back and it's warm and you don't want to just toss the milk and you don't have a cat to feed it to. Growing up on a farm we always had some hungry animal to feed them extra Wait, food Mom, too. Mommy, this one's still going. Yep, it's still going, huh? These stops. So you can just pour the milk um, in a dish and then let the kids do this. Obviously you want to teach them to hopefully drink all their milk, but this is just a fun Wait, way to I'm use. Still doing it. I saw it. Yep. Okay, we so we're gonna pull project? we're gonna pull this one aside, and for those of you it that are disgusting. just joining us, it looks disgusting. We're going to do the whole thing all over again. Yay! Okay. Can I do our own? Maverick, do you want to? No, we're gonna share. Okay, so this time, Maverick, I'm gonna have you pour the milk. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so Mom, pour until I mommy. Change my color. I pour. changed my color. I use this. Okay, pour some. I don't, I don't, can I use red this time? Yeah, it's almost out. The, the big debate of which color we're going to put in. I'll just... Okay. Switching. So go ahead and just pour some of the milk in there. Okay, keep going. Twice. Until we... Oh, no. Okay, stop. Yeah. Okay. Now I... we're going to have the boys... Oh, Whoa, look, and here we... Yep, here, it's it. still going. Yeah, it's it out. Okay, cool. No, no, no. Let's take it out so they can still... No, they can see it, sweetheart. Okay. They can see it. It's still in screen. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not ready. So now we're going to have the boys. Um, and I'm not sure. Woo! Bump the camera. Okay, if you guys are still on. if okay. okay, don't get too much. Otherwise, it just turns into a muddy color. Okay, now add some more polka dots. If anybody's still on, uh, if you could uh, comment, let me know that our feed's still working. I haven't had any comments for... 
couple minutes. So either our videos froze or you guys are all just mesmerized watching our milk go <laughs> here. Okay, that's probably enough. Enough. Okay, now who went first last time? Matthew went yeah. first last time. Um, okay, so if you're just joining us, what we've done here is we have... Well, it's still going. Yep, it's still going. Holy it's really cow. pretty. Okay, so what we've done here... It looks like a target. It does look like it a target. It looks like a little cities inside there. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's fun, huh? Let's okay. just watch it. So, just wait a second. So what we're doing it is... It broke! Yep. So what we're doing is we have um, a styrofoam plate. We put about a half a cup of milk in it just to cover the bottom layer. We have put food coloring in. Um... Oh, it's just normal food coloring that you can find at any grocery store. And then we're using palm olive, olive dish soap. You could use um, any brand of dish soap. How many kids do we And have? we're just going to... Matthew, you're moving the camera, sweetheart. Please don't do that. Okay. So now we're going to coat the tip of our Q-tip uh, with our soap. And then... Can we both do it? Nope, we're just going to do one at first. Okay, and then we're going to put that in the middle, and we're going to watch the reaction happen. Can you guys see that? Hey, I see some more. Mom, this still has soap in it. Okay. All right, let's pull it out, and let's see. what. Let's watch it do its wow. thing. Okay. It looks like a big bum. <laughs> 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 a little bungee and a little bungee. <laughs> Maverick, <laughs> you have to be, a, you, you, you know you're a mama boys when you do a project and they think it looks like a bum. But Maverick, that's not very nice, so let's not talk about bums. Mom, it's stuck. Okay. Okay. okay, well let's, okay, well let's just watch it. Remember what happens is we think it stops and then quite often it will start back up again. Even this one over here is bubbling just a little bit. I'm going to see what happens over here if I just add... Whoa! Don't Can I don't this wiggle it. Okay, so we're on this one. We're just gonna. It's not moving much, so we're gonna add just one dot of soap into the middle, and let's watch it go. Okay, Sweet don't wiggle it. It's a white color. Mm-hmm. Here it goes. Bungie, mom, are we doing another? <laughs> Maverick, <laughs> Maverick, are we, mom, are we doing another project? Okay, we'll do another one here in just a second. Wait, Yay. it's like a little Wait. Whoa! It looks like... Okay, so if you're just joining us, uh, we have about 330 people online. What we've done is we just poured a, a half a cup oh, of... Look at my hair. Yep. We've milk. just poured a half a cup of whole milk into a paper, uh, a styrofoam plate. If you don't have a styrofoam plate, you can just use a normal plate or a Pyrex dish. And then we have put little dots of food coloring. Um throughout the plate and then we have um, just put a, a little drop of food coloring in the middle and we're just watching it bubble and and grow and this one over here has been going for 13 minutes and you can see that it's still just a little bit active can I touch it? no don't touch it looks it. like it's a fog guys yeah. this one's still going yep it's still Hold going it. Like I said, this is just a fun project to do. Oh, I'm going to go on to the next one. Me? Um, are you still, are you watching comments? We haven't had any comments in quite a while. Yeah, they're so I'm, are, They're just not showing up on mine? Yeah, just, your comments are frozen. Okay. Like the okay. Could you bring your computer in here so I can actually respond to the comments? Because right now, all my comments are frozen. Sorry guys if I'm not responding to you. Uh, sometimes the live videos have a glitch and you just can't um, you can't see the comments. So keep commenting and hopefully it will unfreeze itself here in a second. Either that or my husband will bring a... I see. It falls? <laughs> Sweetie, when you do that you shake the whole camera and make everybody kind of sick to their stomach. Okay. Wow. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch to another fun um, idea that you can do. Can you just read them for me? Um, that we can do, it, what we can do with... Um, what can we do with these ones? Okay, so we're just going to move this one off to the side. And you guys can kind of watch them bubble as we do the next project. Wait, do I have to... I can't 
Look at the paint. Okay. Sorry. Oh, you're going to spill all the milk. And you do have to be careful because this does have a lot of food coloring in it, so you don't want to do this over a carpeted area. Um, just FYI. Okay, so the next project that we're going to do is, since Maverick is learned, he actually has all of his colors already learned. He's in kindergarten, but it's still a good thing for him to learn more about the colors and just experiment with them and to do some sensory stuff. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, do the three primary colors and we just have some acrylic paint here. And what you need for this project is you just need um, a paper plate and then your three primary colors red, yellow, and blue and then you need some saran wrap. So Maverick, we're going to start off by we're going to put three spots of, of color, okay? All right, so G, which color do you want to do first? Red. Red, okay. Let me help you open it. Sure. Okay, so here. And we're going to kind of divide the plate into three sections. Say P, that's not nice. Okay. Yellow, 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 yellow. Can you help squeezing some of it out? Yeah. Okay, so red, okay. yellow, and then we're going to put... Mommy, that looks different. Yeah, this one's still going, huh? If you're just joining us, this was our milk project that we did where we just put whole milk into a styrofoam <laughs> plate. We dotted it with uh, food coloring, and then we added a drop of... Um, mm -hmm dish detergent into it and then we just watch it bubble and it kind of looks like a kaleidoscope. Okay, so now we're going to do a primary colors project and this is great. It's a good sensory. Um, the paint smells like... What's the paint smell like? Huh? Does it smell good? Okay, and I'm going to move... It smells like pears, like my snack for today. It smells like pears, which was your snack? Mm -hmm. Do you like pears? Yes. Do you like apples or pears better, or pears. are they about the same? About the same. Yeah, about the same. Okay, so do we have any live comments? Mm, just waiting for you to do something. Wait, okay. So, uh, so now we're going to take our saran wrap, and we are going uh, put it on top. to put it on I top. I got it all right. I got it all right. Okay. So now we're going to let Maverick see what happens when the colors mix. combine, when they mix, right? Oh, wait, sorry, I forgot to, here, wait a second. Green! Okay, let me kind of tuck it under so that it doesn't suck into it. And purple. Purple. And green. But then these two kind Do I homeschool? Green. Nope, we don't homeschool. Um, my kids go to public school. But like I said, when they... Mommy, it's not on bottom. Yep. Okay. So here, rub it together like this. So, no, my kids don't homeschool, but my son only goes to half... Um, our district only goes half-day kindergarten. And so he gets home every day about 12 o'clock. And so we let him come home, have a little snack. We let him watch a little bit of his whatever TV show he picks. Which, what do you normally pick, Maverick? Power Rangers. He watches Power Rangers. Out of five kids, I thought I, get, I got away with nobody being Power Ranger fans until he came along, right? And then me. And he loves Power Rangers. And so then he, Madeline. Yeah, Matt and so Madeline's our baby, but she doesn't really like Power Rangers, does she? Nope, no, just you. No, doesn't care. Okay, so here, keep mixing them. See what they call Mix, 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 mix. Paper in a Ziploc bag is another mix. awesome option. Mm. Okay. So this is just a good way for them, oh, anyway, so then after he watches some of his TV shows, um, then, oh, don't put your finger in there, <laughs> um, then he can, uh, then we try to do some type of project together. Bleeding. It's not bleeding, it's just got paint on it. Okay, so tell me, Maverick, what color does yellow, I mean, re yellow and red make? What color did this make in the middle? Yeah, orange. Orange, good. What color did yellow and blue make? Green. Green, right. And then what color 
did red and blue make together? Cool. Okay. So then once we kind of have established and help them remember what the primary colors, once they're mixed together, what they make, then you can take the same thing. And I like the idea of putting it in a Ziploc bag. That would probably be a little bit less messy. Um, we're now going to have him, we can do some sensory tools. And if they're having trouble forming their letters correctly, this is a great way for them to practice. So can you make an M in here? M. Mm -hmm. Yep. So sometimes you have to, so if you go up, down, <laughs> down, there's an M, huh? It looks like an M. It might be hard to see on the video. Let's see if our, uh, what's our milk doing over here? Is it still, it's still going, still well, going just a little bit? Can I put the soap in? You going to put a little bit more soap in? I want to, I want to, I want to. When I do the video, okay. <laughs> Well, that's what happens when you put a lot of soap in and you bump the camera. <laughs> videos with boys is a little more rambunctious than videos with my girls. Oh, by the way, if anybody wants to that uh, join us this Friday at 6 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, we're going to be doing Mommy and Me Paint Night. And we're going to be showing, um, we're going to be doing this project live with our readers. And if you want to do this project, all you need to get is a surface to paint on. You can get a canvas. Um, I can add a link to this to show you. Um, I can add a link uh, to this video feed to show you the supplies you'll need. But you need a canvas. And then you're just going to need acrylic paint. And you're only going to need three colors for this project. You're going to need white, gray, and then a black. And then whatever color you want to try to make your bubbles, um, you just need one color. So if you wanted your bubbles to be red, you just need one shade of red, and then we show you how to blend the different colors to create the different um, spectrums of colors on here. And so, so then you need, um, you just need two brushes. You need a large flat brush and a small flat brush. And they don't have to be fancy brushes. They can just be the cheap um, standard brushes. And like I said, and if you don't have a canvas or if you're going to do this with a big project, all you have to do is cut on the... Uh... Wow. <laughs> Are you done with this project? Okay, then go into the other room then. Go play. Um, then you can just paint on the back of a cereal box. Just cut the front of the cereal box off and um, you can do it that way. This is what it looks... This is the project we did last Friday. Um, is we did a sunset and this is one that was painted on a canvas and then this is the same thing but we've just painted these ones on the back of a cereal box love how unmessy it is. she says she loves how unmessy it is awesome and I'm assuming she's talking about this um, color spectrum project that we just did alright so if you want to we would love to have you join us live to learn how to do our abstract painting with kids, it's a mommy and me paint night. Put that on your calendar for this um, this Friday at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Thanks everybody for joining us. And like I said, here our milk project is still going. It might be kind of hard to see in the video. The whole thing's kind of turned green, but it's still bubbling and having fun. Uh, once again, I would love to have you subscribe to our live videos. That just gives you the little ding to let you know that um, we're on and you can join us live and how you do that is after this video is ended a little box will pop up and it will hit live subscribe or I think there's an option to press the right corner and live subscribe there if not just join our Facebook page or see our posts on a30mom.com and we'd love to have you thanks everybody and I'll talk to you later bye